Hello and welcome back to the Be Joan Style channel. I am your host and curator, Beth Jones. You are stepping inside my studio today and we are putting on our editor hats for more of the spring fun, the spring issue, diving into building that spring closet. Of course, with an always play dress up spin. just take a moment to all pretend as if we are curating a magazine. Maybe it's the Always Play Dress Up magazine. Wouldn't that be fun? And we are creating the spring issue. One of the sections is, of course, always about the accessories that we all need to have in our lives. And I am going to put on my hat because I'm about hats right now. I'm gonna put on my hat as the accessories editor. And I'm gonna break down for you the accessories that I am loving right now, that I am hunting for constantly. And as you'll see, that I'm wearing all the time. And this is just to get you ready and get you inspired. You're gonna see a bunch of different ideas for accessories that you can be on the lookout for in all the places that we love, the thrift stores, Poshmark, eBay, flea markets, vintage stores, investment pieces, the whole gamut. Everything that we love to find, this is your guide to accessory shopping for spring 2022. And of course, what's really fun is that I'm going to give you this spring accessories edit, and then we are going to head to the thrift store and see what I can find based off of these different categories that I suggest. Of course, I probably won't find all of them, but this is our place to get inspired. And then we're off and running for the rest of the season. And I think accessories are magic gems because they are trendless, timeless, often seasonless. And they really, to me, are the frosting on the cake. They're the jelly to the peanut butter. As you can tell, I'm in a silly mood, but I'm so excited to talk about all the accessories that I am loving right now. So let's hop into it. Okay, let's just start first off with the necklace situation that I'm obsessed with right now. And you'll see it here that I'm wearing and really I've been wearing them on repeat. I am loving charm pendant style necklaces and piling on a lot really random mix. They never really make sense. They probably don't even go with the outfit, but that's what I'm loving about it. So right now I've been wearing this Lariat gold ball necklace. I also love this little pearl one with the green little charm on it. It's super cheap. Uh, you know, you can just tell the quality isn't anything special, but I actually am loving it. And then there's a few others that I've been wearing in the mix, but just in general, you're going to see in so many of my outfits that I've worn really so far this spring and even early in the winter, uh, this whole necklace situation was and is on repeat. So I am loving just tons of pendant and charm necklaces mixed up in all of my outfits. While we're on the subject of necklaces, I have to mention my love right now for a strand of pearls. I have a long strand that ended up breaking and spontaneously one day I threw it on as a scarf. So I just looped it around my neck and threw it over as a scarf and I actually really loved that. And that made me realize how much fun I could have with that one strand of pearls and wear it in lots of different ways. So I've worn it like that as if it's a scarf. I also just recently wore it through uh, the neck of a shirt and then tied as if it was maybe a tie. You could, of course, knot it up and wear it lots of ways. You could pile on pearls, but I am loving pearls in general. And I love the spontaneity of a long strand of pearls that you really can undo and then wear it in so many different ways. So we have to talk about hats. I think my retro revivals uh, theme in the winter got me on a new level of love for hats. I've always worn hats literally since I can remember. I've loved a good hat. 
um, and I've had a collection, but I've always been the ebb and flow girl. Like here and there, I would wear a hat, but not all the time. But lately, I'm not wearing one today, and honestly, I feel a little naked without one. I am in this mode where almost every single day, I'm thinking what hat would go with this? And then when I don't wear a hat, it's as if I, forgot to put on lipstick or something for the day. So I'm loving hats right now. And you can see, I've been wearing them a lot. Right now I'm loving um, the Western hat, which especially the Gucci style Western hat that we saw on the runways for the uh, Gucci Love Parade. It's a little bit more of the turned up brim, less of the wide flat brim. And I found this amazing one right here that you'll see at a Salvation Army recently, and I've been wearing it constantly. I did decide to kind of have some signature hats for spring. I just think it's fun to have signature hats that you wear all the time. And so my Western hat is one of them. And then while we're on the topic of signatures, I I decided that this white uh, kind of sailor style pillbox hat is my other spring. Uh, hat that I will be wearing for the next few months. And in general, that's something I'm loving is just that idea of those hats that women wore in the 50s and 60s that they wore every single day. I'm loving taking a lot of those and just wearing them in any outfit. Like your outfit doesn't have to go with a hat and then you just throw it on. And actually, I think that's what makes it really fun and fresh. Um, another hat that's huge right now and definitely very trendy is the bucket hat. That one is not my go-to, but I do love a good bucket hat. I actually styled for the Goodwill photo shoot back in February. It's a little bit of a different take on the bucket hat, but I love that brown one. So that is actually, I ended up buying that for myself and that's in my closet collection for spring. And I love it, it kind of has a little bit of an Annie Hall feel to it but i do want to find a good bucket hat that i really love and that i connect to i also like the idea of more of that like camper style bucket hat as if you're going to go camping or you're at camp or you're on a safari or something i love that style hat i also love to flip a brim up flip one side and flip both up i love to play with the different ways that you can wear hats and you will notice that a lot of my hats what I'm loving is wearing them either straight up on top of my head, which I've always done that, but what is a kind of a new thing is I love to wear them off to the side a little bit, like on top, but off to the side. And you can see here at the um, Pickwick Vintage Show, I just wore that pink one, which would look great setting straight on top of my head. And I think that's how women probably wore it in you know the 50s but I liked putting it a little off to the side. It felt a little more dramatic and fabulous and you're peering out from under your hat. Also, it's great for aging and sun exposure, so I'm loving that. And then another thing that I am seeing a little bit of return to and that I've been falling back in love with is that page boy or newsboy style hat. Of course, Carrie Bradshaw, you know, really made that a thing in the 90s and I've always loved it for that reason and I have a collection of them. Uh, but I'm seeing that kind of creeping back. I have been seeing a lot of the look from the Y2K era that's coming back worn backwards, um, which I think is really cool. I like it, again, worn on top of my head. I even like going off to the side with it. So I'm loving that as well. Now let's talk about the scarf. I do feel like spring and summer is such a great time for that silk scarf to come out and play. And what's so much fun with the scarf is you really can wear it so many different ways. I love seeing it wrapped on the head and recently I just styled a look with the artist um, T where I did a yellow scarf with it and wore it with a blazer and denim. So I think it's really fun to kind of juxtapose you know, a scarf with something a little more menswear, a little more casual. So I love it in the hair on the head and you can of course do like a bow with your scarf something that I started doing ever since uh, Ronnie styled me with this look back in a holiday video was the scarf on my head and then a hat on top of it. So two accessories in one for me, but I love that. I think that's so much fun for even the summer doing like a print scarf and then wear like a straw hat on top of it. Such a chic and cool look. I feel like you can feel as if you've escaped off to a European vacation with something like that. So I love that. You could of course wear it on your wrist, on your arm, on your bag and 
something that comes into play more in the summer is uh, taking the scarf and wearing as a top. And you can look on YouTube, there are so many ways to wear the scarf top. So, uh, you know, search that up and find different ways to wear your scarf as shirts. And then I also love kind of those longer scarves. Uh, recently, I kind of wore it looped and then instead of tying it tight at my neck, I tied it loosely and then pinned it off to the side with a brooch. And I thought that was like just kind of a fun way to add another print. I did it with a polka dot uh, print scarf along um, like a silk stripe blazer. So I think it's a way to mix prints and it's really fun. Yeah, so I'm loving this scarf and that is such, such an easy thing to find at thrift and vintage stores. I honestly just think that's what we should be doing because there's a million of them out there. And again, another callback to the Retro Revivals theme, I really got into wearing suspenders and ties during that season and I'm loving that for spring as well. Pulling out more of maybe spring colors with ties, which is something I definitely wanna be on the lookout for. I have a floral tie, um, but I feel like they're muted colors. So I feel like I need some fun pops of color ties to work into some spring looks. And I mean, you could even go like, was that Gwen Stefani or Ava Levine with a, you know, just a tank top and a tie if you want, and then throw a blazer or something over it. I, I love it with, you know, just a men's button down thrown on with that. And then of course, like a blazer. I also love layering with it. I think it is cool to do like, um, oh, I just saw this image. What was that from? I'll, I'll try to find it and put it up here on the screen. But it was, I mean, this will definitely come into play more in the fall, but it was a a button down, a tie, a sweater over it, and then overalls over that. Oh, I loved all that layering. So I think playing with ties is so much fun. So pull out those ties, suspenders. I actually have these pair that I just found uh, earlier this year, and I'm loving those. And then I, ooh, I just, I got these band pants that I haven't worn because they were at the tailors, but now they're home and they have buttons inside them four suspenders to be uh, looped onto. So I will definitely be wearing those. And I just, I don't know. Anything that feels like a little extra pizzazz, I'm excited about. I love a good brooch and I think brooches are so creative to play with because you can go big and bold. You can load on a ton of brooches or you could just do one little simple one and where you use them, you can go crazy with that. You don't have to just wear like a little brooch right here. I actually had on a trench coat today with this look and the flap of the collar was kind of wonky. So I just stuck like two brooches on top of it to pin it down. But I feel like you can throw those onto ties. You can throw them on hats. You could um, of course do them here on the side. I love the big, huge lime green um, azalea flower that I got from Brochella. Please check out Brochella. The collection of brooches there are the most statement amazing brooches that I've seen in a really long time and they're so incredible. So, you know, one big, huge statement like that. And I really just think I have all those floral pin brooches. I use them all the time. I love throwing them in my hair, on my neck. I recently at Pickwick also did a big, uh, blue flower pin right here at the neck with those pearls. So brooches, have fun with them. And again, they are so easy to find in the thrift stores like I did for a dollar and just grab like 10 and then throw them all onto a vest or a blazer. And then wrapping up, I mean, all of these are my favorites, but this is definitely one of my favorites is a belt. I love belts. And, you know, of course, just the good old classic leather belts with gold uh, metal or silver is always fun. But I really, right now, I'm on the hunt for just statement, amazing belts, either in colors or they have unique additions to them. I just got this one here and I liked the idea of styling belts a little bit lower, not just straight on the waist. We're going back to the lower rise again. And I like that layering. Um, I wore it with like a, a pleather 
piece and then I did a low belt kind of over that and I I see that coming into fall a lot as well so that's something to kind of think about and have your eye out for but um I mean I've worn belts I, I mean I feel like the gaudy gold chain belt is definitely my thing but I I do want to be looking for even more like some rope detailing belts with shells on them for spring and and summer anything that's just big I'll probably want it and anything that has gold a lot of gold or something unique or crazy about it of course i'm in i love wearing belts over blazers i love wearing it with a skirt i love to have a like a large shirt and throw a belt over it so belts are magical so we've created the edit the accessories edit for spring and now we've got all the inspiration we're ready to head into a thrift store see what we can find when it comes to accessories i love to go to a savers i love a mom and pop style thrift store for some reason those ones that are just random they're not the brand name thrift stores those sometimes have the best accessories and i think it's the women uh that are donating to it often have like all of this stuff they have the hats and the brooches and all of it so those are my favorite places to thrift so you ready to head out now armed and ready with all of this inspiration i am let's go all right it is the day of thrifting the accessories that we talked about and i'm so excited today i love just looking for accessories because you get to pop to multiple stores you don't have to look through everything you really are just looking for accessories and i might try to go to some stores I've never been to before. Some of those more small mom and pop style uh, thrift shops. And then I might hit up a Savers because they usually have great accessories as well. Um, so this should be fun. Here we go. Okay, so funny little situation. A few stores have been closed today. So I'm actually ending up at the Salvation Army, which I have found great accessories here. So I'm gonna hop in here and then I might go to a Goodwill or Savers um, today. So that is where we're starting at the Salvation Army. Started with hats. Found this one. Super fun, I love all the colors. It's hard to see with my bun in. That's a fun one. Yeah, I just did a little scan through bags and I really found this gorgeous vintage yellow bag. I love the shape. It's like a file folder inside. It has that vintage, vintage bag smell. So cute and really unique. And I love just like adding a pop of color, something very structured. I really, I love a good structured bag. It feels very Gucci. And then, you know I love my belts and I found two really amazing ones. This woven belt, that's amazing. I love the gold and the braiding detail on it. And anything with just like that really big design there. I love. These also make me feel like very summery. I love a good woven belt for summer. And I really love this one. I have to kind of put it on and see. But it's really unique and cool. Definitely giving me all those desert feels. You know I'm having a tie moment. I found two really amazing ones. I love the design on this one. So great. Just really cool shapes. And then this is Pierre Cardin. And I thought it was really pretty. Nice little florals. You can see the vintage tag. Ooh, I love that. I'm trying on that belt. I love it's So amazing. I love it. and I don't think I'd want to wear this one low, so I think I'll pass on this one, but I definitely want that. I'm so perfect with my outfit today, very spring. I think that's fun. I 
think that's it for accessories here. I'm gonna go check the front. Usually they don't have jewelry, but I'm gonna do a little scan and then we'll pop into another store. Here's a little recap. I'm getting the hat, the belt, the bag, and the two ties. We are going to pop in to Savers. I always feel like they have a ton of accessories. I feel like I got some really fun ones, so I don't want a ton, but I always think it's fun to look through all of my options. It would be fun to find, you know, a really cute bucket hat or something like that for summer. And maybe I'm gonna look at scarves, like maybe some summery scarves. I feel like I have a lot of fall and wintery style and color scarf so i'd love to find like bright and bold for summer and spring this is the first thing i found it's it looks handmade it's got ribbons on it and these little flowers i think you could wear it you know on your hair you could wear it as a belt i don't know there's a lot you can do with it i like things like this that you can play with and create something with it i'm not sure ooh, or even around your neck very fun i really like this straw hat. This is amazing. And I found two necklaces that I'll show you when we get out because they had to check them out and put them in the front counter for me. But I did find just a really classic strand of pearls. And these are Avon, which I'm realizing I have a lot of Avon jewelry. I realized this little carnation ring that I've been wearing a lot is Avon. And then I think that crazy burst, amber burst, is also Avon. So if you're looking for jewelry secondhand, searching vintage Avon jewelry, I feel like there's some really fun pieces. I'm gonna go look in the men's section and then I think we're done. <laughs> I wish the camera was recording like two seconds ago. I was walking by this rack and I just saw some pinstripes, which caught my eye. This is a vintage Norma Kamali suit. I have been hunting on eBay for Norma Kamali pieces. They're usually very expensive. This is actually, I think, even my size. I'm dying. Oh my gosh. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the details. Okay, I need to like go in front of the mirror and show you. It's even better than I just told you. It's a skirt suit. It's insane. Okay, here it is. I haven't even looked at the price tag. I'm a little nervous about that, but this is like a dream piece for me. Okay, I don't know if I'll ever recover from that. I don't think I've really found that insane of a designer find at a thrift store. Um, it's only $22. <laughs> It's amazing, I'm so excited. It's also making me wonder, is there more Norma Kamali on these racks? I might scan, I don't, I'm not gonna do a huge dig, but you just witnessed one of my favorite finds ever. I'm in so much shock, I'm so excited. That find will go down in my history books as perfection. Everything about it, it's Norma Kamali, it's I think probably I would say 90s. Norma Kamali, it's a suit, it's pinstripe, it's got all of the retro revival feels that I'm loving, the corseted waist, broad shoulders, just those little extra details, and then the fact that it is a pencil skirt, like a maxi length pencil skirt, it is so chic and so fabulous. Now I'm just thinking, okay, where, when am I wearing this? So excited okay but we were thrifting for accessories and i just wanted to show you i got this amazing necklace if you can see the detail gorgeous um you know rhinestone and pearl i'm loving pearls right now and pendants and so that is just amazing and then the pearls and then this is a really cool long chain pendant gold it's actually a brooch and then it's, um, you know, long and it hangs, you know, down, down my neck. And I decided to bring home this really cool piece. I just feel like it's unique and fun. I, I'll play with it and use it in a lot of different styling ways. And then I got that really great straw hat. I love how high 
the crown is and then this is a more of a wide not super wide but it's more of a wide hat and you know I've been wearing them off to the side so I love it as you can tell I'm just so excited I'm so excited I love this suit so much well that was so much fun to be hanging out with you guys and for you to see the Norma Kamali piece that I found I actually have saved a few Norma Kamali pieces on my eBay list and I'm wanting to pull the trigger but I just haven't and so this is this is actually even better than what I've saved so I'm so excited well that's it for today I had so much fun doing this accessories thrifting with you it was fun to just go in and just look at accessories and really look at all the details and decide which ones were my favorites and add them to my collection and I do feel like accessories like I mentioned are just the pieces that are trendless timeless you can play with them for the rest of your life and having a really great collection just can constantly change your outfits and mix it up well, it was so much fun to be fashion editors with you thinking how we can thrift those items that we want to add to our closets our spring closet and thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel i have new videos on thursdays at 8 a.m pacific standard time make sure to subscribe to the weekly scoop email the link is down in the video description below those emails land in your inbox every single tuesday and they're really just full of so much more fashion inspiration to get your brain buzzing. And then finally, always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye.